The Ben Davis and Kelly K Show podcast on demand. Hi, my name is Ben. That's Kelly. Hi. Uh, she has two dogs. I have a dog and three cats. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen how cats walk around. They they prance with their tails up, and you can see their booty hole, right? It just okay. Kind of so yeah, pointing it's on right display. at you. Yeah, absolutely. Just pointing right at well, you. It's- same with our pugs. I mean, they have their little tails that curl up. Sure. And they prance around, too. So do you ever wonder how many parts of your house your animal may be touching with its butt? No, sir. And I don't want to start, but now I am. Thanks. So when, Thanks for that. Yep. So when you come to the show, you come, obviously, for the laughs and for the good times. But then you also need to come for the science and the learning and the education. And this is where we come in. <laughs> Thanks to sixth grader out of Tennessee named Caden Griffin, who decided to do God's work and tackle this question for his science fair project. <laughs> come on. A school project? We're, we're trying to find out how many places a cat's booty hole touches? Seriously? Yeah. The project is titled, Does Your Cat's Booty Hole Really Touch All the Surfaces in Your Home? Oh, my God. So how do you think he ran this experiment? I don't know. I guess you just follow your cat around all day long, right? Listen to this. Listen to this. It's so good. He put non-toxic lipstick on his cat's booty. No. And then just kept track of where the little kiss marks showed up around the house oh my god seriously wait a second wait a second did he get his mom to sign off on this because we have a very light colored couch a very expensive light colored couch and if there was a bunch of lipstick marks on the couch oh wow so i bet you're dying to know the results Okay, what's the result? Okay. It was like everywhere, right? Everywhere, everywhere, All right. everywhere. All right, so there were two main results. Cats with long hair and medium hair and cats with short hair, okay? So okay. this is the question, thanks to sixth grader out of Tennessee named Caden Griffin, which, by the way, if you want the visual to go along with this, it's on Facebook at Ben and Kelly Show, all right? The results are cats with long and medium hair, didn't make any contact with hard or soft surfaces. So it's okay. All, uh, that's good news. Uh huh. Cats with short hair didn't make contact with hard surfaces, but there were smears of lipstick on soft surfaces like the bed. Okay. Yeah. So nestling in a little bit. This is nice and soft. Yeah, my booty, my my, my booty, <laughs> in. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. I guess the good news, the science of all this, and what we can take away is that your cat isn't dragging its butt all over your house. But if you have a okay. short-haired cat, not everything's Maybe a little. safe. Okay, like couches and beds, probably, and your pillow. So, um, oh. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the pillow. I. I just keep oh, no. coming back to the application of the lipstick to the cat and how hysterical no. that must have been. I mean, and like, again, did mom sign off on that? Because what if it got all over the couch? No, I'm thinking what? And you can't get that out. What if you put the lipstick back and, and forget what color it was? <laughs> oh, my God. And then mom puts it on. Mom's like, huh. <laughs> Recognize this color somewhere. Oh yeah, it was smeared on the couch. Oh, it was on my cat's butt. Oh! At Ben and Kelly show.